I'll be using this power pack to charge the Galaxy S10 Plus. It will have quick charging. Um, so it's gonna be a pretty interesting comparison to see if this gigantic car battery can actually charge faster uh, than a tiny little phone. Okay, a little ridiculous. It's only been a couple minutes. The car just hit 33%. I think I got it on camera. So I just plugged in my phone. It says fast charging. It says an hour and 12 minutes until it's done. So we're gonna be able to charge a Tesla Model 3 faster than a Galaxy S10, according to that. Um, but we're gonna let them race fast charging, supercharging, and we'll see how it goes. All right, the car, Tesla Model 3 is at 98%, 10 minutes left. Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. 84% with 30 minutes left. That is pretty pathetic, Samsung. All right, the Tesla's at 100%, almost done charging, compared to the phone, which is at 90%. So the phone actually did a pretty good job catching up, but I'm gonna call this one for the Tesla. All right, so a Tesla with a huge, gigantic battery beat a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus charging. How is that even possible? Well, a couple things. Uh, when you have a big, gigantic battery, the bigger it is, the faster you can move electricity into it. Uh, so that's one thing. Also, the Tesla has much better cooling than the battery on the phone. So the Tesla has fans, it can pull air. If the battery's hot, it'll pull more air uh, to cool the battery and allow it to charge faster. So overall, a Tesla charges faster than a phone. Actually, wouldn't have guessed that.